Hello, good morning. Time for business. Minister of Trade and Industry Dr. Ekos Piugabra has assured Ghanaian exporters into the European Union market government will take every necessary step to protect the country's exports within the framework of the Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA. He made a comment when a delegation of the major exporting companies in the country paid a courtesy call on him to express their concerns over a possible lack of market access into the EU by October 1. This assurance follows threats from the European Union to impose high tariffs on exports to aid markets if Ghana and other ECOWAS countries do not sign the Economic Partnership Agreement EPA by October. The major firms that export to the EU market have said the delay in signing the agreement could see them shut down, resulting in over 5,000 workers losing their jobs. But according to Dr. Spiel Gabra, the ministry is currently seeking cabinet input and support on options open to Ghana in the wake of the 1st October deadline given by the EU in granting market access to Ghana. He said, and I quote, let me, however, assure all exporters and their employees that government has much interest in ensuring economic growth, increase in employment, as well as an expansion in export trade and industry, and will do whatever it takes to protect Ghanaian exports in the EU. End of quote. The leader of delegation, George Poi, who is also the Corporate Affairs and Administration Manager of Golden Exotics Limited, appealed for government intervention, emphasizing stakeholders of the various companies are getting nervous of losing in their investments and jobs. Now mention the big six. The first and undoubtedly the only thing that crosses one's mind is Ghana's independence. The big six has always been associated with Ghana's political history as arguably the most influential personalities in Ghana's history. This is being replicated in corporate Ghana and interestingly, the group is made up of women rather than men, as was the case on the political front. The women who have occupied or are still occupying senior executive positions in some top corporate institutions in Ghana have launched an initiative. Joy Business Sarah Josu has the rest of the story. DAB, the Executive Women Network, EWN, the non-profit organization, seeks to empower women executives to be successful and influential both at the local and international levels. The Big Six is made up of Barclays Bank Ghana's MD, Patience Achianu, Unilever Ghana's MD, Mehdi Akutu, as well as the CEO of Business and Financial Times, Edith Dankwa, also as the former deputy MD of UT Bank and now managing consultant of Phoenix Limited, Pell Mensa, Ethel Ghana's MD, Sequest and Nestle Ghana's MD Frida Duplan. So how do they intend achieving their goal? Barclays Bank Ghana's Elizabeth Achianu has some answers. One of our key objectives is to influence policy and um, that will ensure that we increase the number of uh, women in senior positions. As a result of that, we're actually linking to the broader CEO community. So we've joined networks that cover both men and women at top management level and we intend to influence the decisions at that level. Unilever's Mehdi Akutu also speaks of how they intend protecting the rights of women at workplaces. When we become better women, stronger women, we're in a position to even add greater value to our male colleagues and to society as a whole. But there are challenges. Examples are sometimes you can have an executive who is pregnant, is happy to be looking forward to the baby, but doesn't know how to tell the company that she's expecting. <laughs> and for days and weeks, this person is miserable contemplating how to share that news and contemplating whether her career will come to an end. But will they involve men in this? This is what Frida Duplan of Nestle Ghana had to say. Okay, we are a support for women. But in so doing, we will be having some men support us, help us, okay, and even sometimes inspire our women as well. So could this initiative be the answer to the concerns of bias against women in the corporate world, at least in Ghana? Well, only time will tell. For Joy Business, Sarah Josu. Well, on that note, we end this morning's business. Join us again at midday for more business news updates. My name is Imano Abwaji Riyashi. Good morning.